Hello everyone, this is Domina Mara and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am a female dominant that makes videos on my personal perspectives on play. I have travel vlogs, Dom DIYs, and product reviews like I have for today. I am extremely excited to be introducing Cinevator all the way from the UK. But before we get into why they are such an exquisite company, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications by clicking that bell so that you know when I have amazing collabs like this coming out in the near future. I post a new video every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific time and I live stream on Sundays. Be sure to also check out my YouTube memberships. I have custom kinky Mara emojis as well as loyalty badges available. So, Cinevator, the name already tells us so much. The logo has a serpent surrounding its skin around an apple. If that doesn't allude to the original biblical consciousness of sexual awakening, I don't know what else does. <laughs> this UK company has the goal of allowing all product purchasers the experience of being inclusive to any fantasy by making them a reality. Some of these fantasy realms include and are not limited to unicorns, dragons, eggs, aliens, tentacle creatures like the legendary Cthulhu, and serpents, including training devices inspired by the Grecian myth Medusa. Introducing the team, we have S, who I have had the absolute pleasure of speaking with virtually, Mr. P, who is the oh-so-talented sculpting artist behind each piece, Mr. A and Mrs. B, who are the silicone whisperers and do the actual pouring of this fine, colorful material. As any innovation truly begins, Cinevator toys are sketched out in multiple forms of ideas. Then it is taken from 2D into the third dimension by sculpting via the medium of clay. A mold is created for future silicone to be poured and we will get into the customizations for colors and added extras in a bit. Since ancient times, penetrative toys were carved from stone and polished for people to pleasure themselves with. But only in the last 10 years have we been able to safely find body safe premium quality materials like silicone. Upon researching on the process of creating said healthier options, the Cinevator team witnessed what harmful chemicals went into the production of other toys. That and just poor and unappealing design for getting in the mood, if you know what I'm saying. Cinevator uses platinum silicone that was sourced for the best pliability while still maintaining softness, also being non-toxic and phthalate free. Everything is done by hand, measured, stirred, and then placed into a vacuum chamber for frothing, ensuring that all the bubbles are gone prior to pouring. The toys rest in molds to cure, and you can rest assured that each of the veins and bulges were perfectly positioned for optimum playtime. Now, the fun part, customizations. After selecting the size, you can select the firmness you would like for some of these toys. All of these options, if applicable, will be presented in the form of a drop-down menu. There is a medium soft and a medium. Medium soft is very bendable and follows the natural contours of the body. Note that some of the larger toys cannot stand up by themselves straight 
due to the weight combined with the softness of the material. Medium is more firm that can stand supported, especially with one of the three base options Cinevator has to offer. So taking my Dagon 22 and a half inch tentacle, for example, this thing is quite heavy. Um, it can kind of stand with a little support, but it leans over due to its weight. The first base option is Vacu-Lock. All dual density toys come with this as the default, but most strap-ons and effing machines come with this base. The next base is the Vacu-Lock compatible base with suction cup, which is removable via a hole that is made at the base of the toy. It's akin to those plastic suction cups that stick to windows, but industrial strength. The last base is the one that I have, and it is a double suction cup, which is the strongest and is best for items that weigh more than one kilo or two and a half pounds. Next is my personal favorite customization, which is color. You have the choice to marble a couple colors together to create stunning effects that literally swirl together in the final look, or you can choose a fade, which is a gradient effect from one section of the toy to another. So this is kind of like a marbling effect that you can see here um, that is due to the pouring. However, you can see that this part I requested is more of a fade. The team will help work with you to the best of their ability if you want something really specific. For example, I wanted to see how far they could go with my tentacle and so I photoshopped this with color swatches. It was really ambitious <laughs> and the mold did not allow for such intricate detail. So in the end, we agreed to do a two color fade with a tube attached. And that is the final addition. Coom tubes. <laughs> if you want to play with your favorite packs that look like frosting, or in my case, gelatin or juices are just as good with similar viscosity. You can do this by siphoning your favorite liquids into this tube and then injecting it into your prey. Don't they think of everything? If you want to make your own lube, all you need is some cornstarch, hot boiling water, and I'm going to add food grade edible glitter, but you can use food coloring as well. All you have to do is combine one cup of water and two to four tablespoons of cornstarch, depending on the viscosity level that you like. You can adjust your taste preferences and mix thoroughly in a small pot so that everything is smoothly combined. Turn on the heat over your stove and keep diligently stirring to avoid clumping. Once it reaches the boiling point, turn the heat off and let it cool at room temperature naturally. And note, it will thicken as it cools. After it's completely cooled, you can sift through it if you want to make sure the texture is solidly silky. Otherwise, now would be the time to put your glitter and or food coloring and swirl it in. You can transfer it into a glass container like a mason jar to use later or put this in the tube if you want to use it fresh. And 
and squeezing the two. You can watch it all in its glory. And there you have it, glitter slime coming out of your custom tentacle creature. <laughs> Every request is made to order and they do have options for next day delivery. Should you really, really, really want that toy ASAP. I'm super in love with how vibrant my tentacle came out and she feels so wonderful. The colors will stay this vibrant as time progresses and you'll be sure that I'll be doing lots of video clips with her in the near future. Thanks again to Cinevator for sponsoring this awesome 22 and a half inch wonder and happy shopping to all of you who have been inspired by my new toy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a tentacle up and share it so that others can learn about this fantastic toy company based in the UK. Comment below on what you think I should name her. Yes, I'm talking about my tentacle. I was thinking Amba Tentacle, but it's still in progress. Subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications on future collabs like this. Follow me on my social media at Mara Domina. And until next time, be safe, have fun, and keep sinning, everyone. Fuck, it's so messy. Ah! Okay. Shit. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs>